Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com. Out here for another gear view, and today talking body armor. These right here by Ace Link Armor, which are their standalone level four plates. Level four standalone, what do these words mean? Basically, it's in reference to the NIJ testing protocols that are basically standardized for testing body armor, what threats it will defeat. By way of example, this being level four means it will stop up to an including 30 odd six armor piercing rounds. Pretty much everything down below, whether it's 308 armor piercing or 762 by 39, 556, M855, all that other goodness. And this being standalone, meaning it doesn't need anything else. There are some plates that are level four in conjunction with, meaning you need basically a soft 3A armor backer to get up to the level four rating. This does not need this. One and done. Or two if you want one on your back. These plates right here are made of a PE and ceramic composite, making for a pretty lightweight standalone level four plate they weigh about six pounds. And are they bulletproof? Well, I ended up taking one of these out to the range and with the help of Bob, did a little bit of shooting. Right here, Ace Link armor plate. This one is the NIJ certified level four standalone. We're gonna go ahead and use their carrier right here. Actually slides in from the top, kind of skeletonized. Make sure this is the side facing out. Drop it in there and secure with our Velcro. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw this guy on Bob. With our level four standalone plate in front, drop this guy over Bob. He works out, probably barely make it. See what this thing does. We're gonna go ahead and start big. Level four standalone, You're supposed to stop 30 odd six armor piercing. Don't really have any of those. This is a Barnes TSX, solid copper, 30 odd six. So this one right here is for all the kids that turn the corner and are like, okay, boomer. And then they're like, oh shit, someone still shoots those. Bob took that like a champ and then promptly fell over. But my guess is that's probably where that impact was. And if we take a look at our plate, while it did not penetrate, definitely had some back face deformation, which, all right, cool. Stopped it right there. That also happened, which obviously the bullet did not penetrate. That would be pretty rough, which is probably why Bob fell over. It's a lot of kinetic energy to stop right there. This thing definitely stopped it, but your ribs may or may not be slightly bruised. All right, Bob, round two, easy day. 6.5 Creedmoor, 147 grain ELD match, I believe, from Hornady. Bob never misses chest day, he should be fine. Like a boss. Bob, what a team player. Definitely did not penetrate. Did, however, basically put a high on this plate, end up Bust in like this little piece on the carrier and some more back face deformation, but stopped it. I mean, that would not feel good, like high thoracic. Your sternum would not appreciate it, but it would not penetrate. Penetration up top here and definitely some back face deformation. Don't worry, last one, Bob, and we'll get you some motor and water. Be right as rain. Right here, 243 loaded up by Unknown Munitions with a Burger Hybrid Elite. Cooking through this 17-inch barrel at just over 2,900 feet per second. So 
It's party, Bob. Last one. Like a champion. What a champion. Look at that. Took it right there. He was obviously flexed, so probably didn't hurt him too much. But again, definitely some back force deformation. Going through right here, lower on the plate. That third round down here at the bottom, definitely some back face deformation. But all said and done, definitely stopped all those rounds. Coming away from that, what are my thoughts? Well, don't want to get shot. And back face deformation is a very real thing and that will wreck you, but you would not get penetrated. Stuff held up really well. I wish I had some 30 odd six armor piercing rounds, but I didn't. But no, pretty impressed with how well this stuff stood up. Something worth mentioning, these plates are all batch tested at the NTS Chesapeake Laboratory, basically where they certify batches of plates for whatever the actual NIJ certification is with respect to level. These being level four standalone. Something else important is these are basically a composite to include ceramic. Why is that important? Well, when it comes to body armor, Sometimes you'll see places advertising, basically steel AR-500 armor. Sounds pretty good, except this catches bullets, as you can see. Why is that important? Well, with steel body armor, steel does not catch bullets. Basically, they come in, they hit, and they fragment, sending said fragments of lead and copper jacket out into appendages or up under your chin, in your neck, not really places you want sharp bits of metal going. This, while you do have back face deformation, which would not feel good at all, will actually catch the bullet and said fragments, which is pretty important. Another thing worth noting is armor is bulletproof for a while. If you stack rounds, it will punch through this. It was not made to take like round on top of round and hold up. And regardless of level, like overseas, driving level seven, up armored Toyota Hiluxes. Yeah, they're bulletproof right up to the point where they're not. Like you start chewing away with like a PKM into the side of that thing. Eventually the armor will just get degraded and those bullets will start zipping through. So buys you time. Ivan, are these actually 10 by 12 plates. I have no idea, I never measured them. They are in fact single curve, but as a more meaningful metric, let's do this. One, two, three. Boom, there they are, both front and back in the Spiritus plate carrier. As you can see, plates come all the way up to the corners in the plate bag down there as well. And looking at it on the inside, honestly, pretty nice. You don't have any slop. So yeah, I'd say probably about 10 by 12. Who do I think these level four standalone plates would be good for? Well, someone that needs level four standalone protection or wants it. Keep in mind, where are you? Kind of what is your environment? because you pay for these on two fronts. One, cost, level four standalone, more expensive than some of the other plates, and also weight. These, granted, not super heavy, six pounds, which is relatively light for the protection you're getting, but kinda, what is that threat matrix? Do you live in a built up urban environment? In which case, how many people are running around with M1 Grand with armor piercing rounds? Or do you maybe live somewhere remote where, yeah, like not a lot of population density, a lot of people hunting, people walking around with, I don't know, 300 Win Mag hunting rifles. Maybe this is probably a good call if that is kind of likely threat. Really comes down to environment. If you'd like to pick up these plates because they fit your needs, you can go ahead and get them directly through Ace Link Armor about 260 bucks a plate or get them as a set for about 510 bucks. And if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or supporting me directly through Patreon, 
greatly appreciate it. And if you have questions for me, happy to answer them. Probably not in the comments section, but over on Patreon, we have active Discord. Answer all your questions over there. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.